What's up, friends? Welcome back to Emily's Game. We are in Star Citizen PTU 3.24.2. Yesterday's announcement for the latest PTU patch release included the new ships to shops. We got the Mirai Pulse, the RSI Ursa Medevac, the Argo MPUV Tractor, and my personal favorite, the Aegis Saber Firebird. As I'm going to go put these down, I'm going to show you where to find these. Now, remember, this is in the PTU only currently. These should translate to the PU when 3.24.2 drops, which I think is going to happen any day now. So keep your eyes out for this. Let's go find these ships and see how much they're, uh, they're wanting for each one of them. I right, guess I'll show you how to get to these um, these ship dealers in case you're not familiar with it. We have landed at Area 18 and just left our hangar. And I'm just going to turn right out of the elevators. Make it right here where it says Lorville. I'm through here. And right there's New Deal. This is where the Lorville ship dealer is. Probably the easiest one to find. Alright guys, so we're looking for the RSI Medevac, the Mirai Pulse, the MPUV Tractor, and the Aegis Saber Firebird. So, let's start with Aegis. Ooh, there she is, baby. Oh, you guys. If you have not flown the ship, do it. This is one of my favorites. I It's probably my preferred fighter when I'm with a group. Uh, by myself, not so much because you quickly run out of missiles, but here it is. There's no price listed. I'm so sorry. I can't tell you how much this one's going to cost us. I'm guessing it's because it's, I don't know, maybe out of stock. No clue. All right, so that one is a no-go, uh, at least in the PTO. So we'll have to check it out. Maybe I'll check it later. If there is, I'll post an update to the video. If not, we'll check it when it comes to PU. My next one is MPUV Tractor, which is Argo. Argo is here. All right, so we got the cargo. This is not what we're looking for. Got the personnel carrier. Also, not what we're looking for. Oh, there she is. Argo MPUV Tractor at the bottom of the list. 415,800 AUEC, you guys. That's a lot of money. Um, I do like the tractor. The only problem is you can't quantum with it. So really think about that if you're going to get it. It fits great in a M2, a C2. You know what? I don't know what else it fits in. I'll have to look that up and see. But uh, I, I've used it in my hangar for loading my halsey. I'll blow the bottom spindles off the halsey. So I can land it in there, and then I'll use this to, to load and unload. Um, it's okay. I personally think the Atlas works better, but you cannot get the Atlas in-game unless you've pledged it. So, MPUV Cargo, Tractor, the Aegis Saber Firebird are both here at Lorville, the New Deal shop. We're going to check real quick for the Ursa Medevac, which is a RSI ship. The ground vehicles here. There it is. Ursa Medevac Ground Support Unit. 137,200 AUEC. Guys, this thing is worth it. I'm not sure why the wheels are inside it, but I promise you when you get it out, they will not be. <laughs> but no, this is this is a hell of a vehicle. This is a life-saving vehicle. Literally. Uh, fits in in a um an m2 c2 a2 uh we we can get it in the msr it'll go on the constellations uh there's quite a few ships it'll go on it will fit on other ships if you blow the tires off fine if you don't intend to drive it but you can set your spawn point here you can heal it i believe it'll heal up to tier two uh, i'll look up what it can heal and i'll post it as a text message on the video but definitely, guys, this is a worth it vehicle to have. Don't hesitate. If you see one of these and you do a lot of bunker 
for a distribution center mercenary quests, great vehicle to have. Not only can you heal yourself in it, you can also drive around the facilities. I guess that leaves us with our last ship, the Mirai Pulse. Guys, here it is. Look at this. Here at Lorvel, you could get all four of the vehicles that they've posted uh, as being in the game to purchase. The Mirai Pulse. Now, granted, this is just the ground combat version of it. 185,220 AUEC. This one, it you can't see it in the picture, but there is a... Uh, Attachment here between these front little arms that holds uh, a repeater. I believe it's a repeater. Wonderful little bike. It's quick. It's very temperamental, though. Gee, I've killed myself more on a pulse than I think I have died in bunkers. <laughs> but if you want to know how to drive the pulse, reach out to me. I've got some tips on it. I will make another video on the pulse and how I control mine so that I don't die as often. You still will but not as often. All right, guys, I am going to run over to Area 18. I am going to look at Astro Armada to see if they have these vehicles there. Now, again, this is the ground combat version of this. There is a racing variant. We're going to go see if that's over there and see how much that would cost. I will see you guys over there. Oh, what the hell? Because I stored my ship, it kicked me out of my freaking hangar. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not going to do a commentary or a slow motion walk to the uh, Astro Armada. I will speed walk there and I will stop and explain anything along the way. This is the ASAP terminal. This is where you exit your hangars. You come out here, you'll make this left to the transit platform. When you get to the transit platform, there are two trains. The right train will actually take you to the convention center. The left train will take you where you want to go. So take the left train. Now, that train that shows up on the right side, it will eventually take you where you want to go. You can avoid that additional stop. It just wastes your time. Once you get off the train, just follow the route that I'm going to take. When you get out here, you're going to make a left. I'm around here. There are two ways to get here. You can go down this way or you can go around that way. Both ways get you there. I don't know that it really matters too much. And right there she is, friends. Astro Armada. The other way brings you out there and you end up at the same spot. So feel free to time it, see which one's better. I don't know. And I really don't care. They're gonna be so close to the same, it's not funny. Alright, let's see. We are looking for RSI, Mirai, MPUV, and Aegis. So, all right, we got the Mirai here. There's the Pulse. Again, just the ground combat one. So I do not see the racing one here. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to be at Crusader. Uh, I don't intend to actually go over there and look. This one is 185 220 I don't remember the price off my head, but I will try to compare these. See if they're both the same. Other than that, guys, that's it. The other makers are not over here. If you want to come to Astro Marta, you can get the Pulse, the combat version only. So, guys, that's it. I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope this is helpful to you in some form or fashion. If not, that's fine. You probably didn't need the help anyway. But I do appreciate you watching and liking and subscribing. Don't forget to leave me comments. Let me know your thoughts on vehicles. If Anything I may have missed, feel free to call me out on. But guys, let me be a resource for you if you need help with anything in the game. Grinding for rep, for credits. If you need ships, I would be happy to loan you a ship. I'm here to help, and I'm going to keep doing videos like this as much as I possibly can. 
Guys, I love you. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.